Alright, so check it. Samsung just announced its brand new phone. And unlike the iPhone 6 Plus, this one is supposed to bend. Coming in at a price of just two. What the f? <coughs> Coming in at the cost of a small vehicle, you can get this bendy phone. It bends into a phone, it bends into a tablet. Did I mention it can also bend your financial future into a pile of twisted metal? It truly is a whole new category similar to your category of your financial class after you take out a second mortgage on your house in order to pay for this literal behemoth. This new phone is a grower, not a shower, starting off with a 4.6 inch display. You open up that boy and bam, you got a 7.3 incher all up in your face in tablet form. And you may be asking yourself, well, this is wonderful. Now when I drop my phone, I can break two screens instead of one, double the repair cost. Not to mention bending a screen over and over will surely break it in no time. Well, think again, you silly simpleton. This phone comes with a bionic endoskeleton ensnared in a sophisticated hinge system capable of supplying this bendy boy with thousands of folds to ensure that it lasts the planned life lifetime of the device before it stops getting supported by Android updates. That is, if apps and Android itself can even support the damn device, you're getting pretty much zero app support right out of the box. It comes in four colors, and the one you want will probably be out of stock when you go to buy it, so you'll probably end up getting a color you hate, but even that won't matter because you'll cover it up with a case or skin, and speaking of skins, shout out to Dbrand for sponsoring this- <laughs> What, you thought I was good enough for sponsors yet? You're a funny one, aren't you, old sonny? D-Brand, please sponsor me. Basically, what Samsung claims for the user experience in this device, when it's folded normally, it basically has the same functionalities as my Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge from Boost Mobile that costs about $50, but if I need that powerful multimedia experience, splat, I got myself a whole tablet. Because it's not like I'm going to have access to one of these, or one of these, after I pretty much sell everything in the remainder of my life savings to be able to afford this damned phone tablet extravaganza. Oh, and you can also run three apps at once. I think that's pretty neato. So, you can watch a YouTube video of Hawaii, text your friend about it, and browse travel options all at the same time. Yeah, because you expect to afford a nice trip to Hawaii after buying this phone. How rich do you think I am? I had to put up a kidney for this phone, Slim. I'm not gonna put up another to hula dance and stare at palm trees. Oh yeah, not to mention that this phone could pretty much outperform most computers with a seven nanometer processor, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and half a terabyte of storage. I know, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if some mad lad figures out how to mine Bitcoin on this to pay back the massive debt that he insinuated into his mommy's credit card after realizing that the phone was not to live without. And based on powering two displays, you'd think that battery life is going to last shorter than I last in the bedroom. Well, you'd be wrong, because Samsung built two batteries into this thing and has technology that harvests energy from both. But to be honest, between me and you, I don't trust Samsung's battery engineers. I don't trust them one bit. Oh, and this mad lad puts six cameras on one phone, too. Three in the back, one on the front, two on the insides. So you can take pictures of your caviar in your $17,000 airline seat to go play polo with Bill Zucker Bezos. But let's say your plane couldn't get off the ground. You could just hop in your car, try like three times to open Google Maps, and you can look at the maps on the big screen. This absolute poon magnet of a cellular device goes on sale April 26th and costs way too much. Definitely be sure to get your pre-orders in. Samsung, if you're watching this video, please hit me up. I'll do a review of it gladly.